Hi, Dala here. And uh, today I thought we'd take a look at how the solar panels are performing one month after being installed. So let's fire up the web browser and take a look at the Fronius solar web interface that came with the inverter. I am using the free version since I don't really think that the premium is worth it. Uh, but let's quickly go through what the system is doing at the moment. Uh, so here in the upper left corner we have uh, live data that is coming from the Gen24 inverter and smart meter. Uh, right now it's quite late in the evening so we're not getting a lot of power in. And, but the weather has been quite sunny today. We can also see some weather stats here. Uh, this panel here is updated every 10 seconds so it's very fresh data. In the middle we have the energy balance for, the, for this day. And this one gets refreshed every two hours. Uh, there is a more in-depth version of the energy balance that we'll take a look at like in a second. But uh, finally here on the right we have the estimated earnings uh, along with uh, CO2 savings. The earnings take into account electricity that you didn't need to buy and also uses a fixed price for each kilowatt hour that you sell. I am not yet sure how precise this estimate will be. We will take a look at that once the first electricity bill comes. And like I mentioned here at the bottom there is some weather data. Uh, I have also uploaded a picture of the system so I can quickly identify it when opening this page. But uh, let's take a look at the most interesting page here. So that is the energy balance. So again this is a more detailed version of the same thing that was shown on the front page. You can really get a detailed look at the consumption here via this graph. You can even see the cyclic loads that are happening uh, during the night. Uh, this is, these are the fridges and chest freezers that kick on and off during the night. But uh, if we switch from date to month we can get these uh, bar graphs and uh, it looks like if there's a really sunny day we can produce uh, over 50 kilowatt hours of energy. Um, so if we take a look at the total page the system has during roughly one month in production we have generated over 1000 kilowatt hours and uh, the vast majority of this has been sent back into the grid. And there is nothing wrong with that from an ecological perspective. Uh, like we are helping Finland's electrical grid become more green. But if you want to maximize profit and return of investment, uh, then you should try to consume everything that you generate. Uh, for instance, you can add an electrical water heater, you can add a battery bank or something else to achieve this. Uh, we'll take a look more in this uh, later on in an upcoming video. Uh, it's really addictive to look at this data. I mean, I'm, I'm browsing this, this uh, data like every day and, and taking a look at what the system is doing. Uh, there's also some other stuff in here. Um, you can go into the analysis page where you can see that Fronius is really pushing the simulation aspect. You can take a look at if it's worth it for you to add batteries to your system. This is really cool. You can just add different sizes of battery and, and then press simulate and you get, you get data out of it. So yeah, this is amazing to look at. I, I, I didn't think the system would be this involved. But um, I think that's enough for this video. Um, we will do more videos on this solar system once we get even more running hours on it. But yeah, coming later this year. Dollar out.